Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Gerhardt here, and uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, car loans and mortgages. In our last uh, installment or our last video, um, we talked about saving for college and Grace's uh, college savings account. And now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about buying a car and buying a house and more adult things that you have to do after you've saved up for college. So um, our first scenario here is you want to buy a car but only can afford $250 per month and payments. For new cars, you can get a loan for 4% interest. And if you want a five-year loan, how much can you afford? So what we're going to do, let me get back here. Um so it works out a little bit better. So <clears throat> what we're going to first do is say what we know. We know that R is $250 because that's how much we can pay per month. We know that N is 5 times 12, which is 60, so there's 60 payments. And we know that I is 0.04 divided by 12, which is one-third percent per month. What we need to find out is what is the present value of a car that we can buy, because when we take a loan out, we need the money now. Needing the money now is present value, okay? We're not saving up for this car, we're taking a loan out to buy it now. And so this present value amount is what we're going to do. We found the present value annuity amount um, by doing some stuff with our final amount uh, annuity and present value information. Really just focus on these two formulas. So knowing what we know, we plug in everything, A sub P equals 250, which is our monthly payment, times 1 minus 1 plus 0.04 divided by 12, which is our I value, raised to the negative 60, which is our number of payments, all over 0.04 to the 12, or 0.04 to times 12. That gives us $13,574.77. So if you were to put down, say, a $1,500 down payment, you could buy a $15,000 car and take a loan out on the remaining $13,574. Now, <clears throat> I don't think that's going to buy a 2012 Range Rover Sport, but this car costs approximately $74,000, and if we assume 4% interest and a six-year loan, so we're lengthening the loan, what will my monthly payments be? Well, again, we had this formula, and now we're going and doing this formula here, and it's just the reciprocal of this fraction times both sides, which cancels out and gives us the R equals I times the present value of the annuity divided by 1 minus 1 plus I to the negative N. What do we know? We know the present value of the loan that we need is $74,000. We know that N is equal to 12 times 6 because we have a six-year loan and monthly payments give us 72 total payments. And we know the interest rate is 0.04 divided by 12, so we have to figure out what our repeating payments are going to be. When I plug all this information in, I get 0.04 divided by 12 times 74,000 over 1 minus 1 plus 0.04 divided by 12 to the negative 72. I highly insist that you put this into your calculator to check that you can do it. If you have an Inspire, it should look exactly like this. If you have an 84, you're going to have a lot more parentheses that you need to put in. When you do this, you get $1,157.74 per month. So that's what our car payments would be on a $74,000 Range Rover Sport. <clears throat> now, that's good for six years at 4% interest, but somebody brought up, hey, what about 0% financing? You know, always hear the guys on TV, 0% down, 0% financing for six, you know, for 60 months, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, let's try that out. Let's try five years at 0% interest. If that's the case, we're just going to take the car amount, 74000 divide by 60 months. And that gives us a payment of $1,233.33 per month. Now, it goes up almost 100 bucks per month. Not that big of a deal, but how much do you save over the life of the loan? Well, if we take our first one, our first payments, and multiply it by 72, which is how many payments we would have to make, we actually end up paying $83,000. If we take our second payments and multiply it by 60, we end up with $74,000. And so what happens with that is you end up saving almost $10,000 in interest by taking the 0% financing. And it only makes your payment go up a little bit per month, about 80 bucks. So it's up to you. Personally, I'm never going to buy that Range Rover Sport, but um, if you are, then these are some of your options. 
Now, if we go into buying a house, all right, buying a house and taking a mortgage is, again, another present value annuity. And so if that's the case, I have a $200,000 home that I'm going to buy. The interest rate is um, on a 30-year mortgage is 5%. What will your monthly payments be? So the first thing we do is label what we know. We know the present amount, the present amount of the annuity is 200000 We know that N is going to be 30 years times 12 months per year or 360 payments. That's pretty disappointing when you realize it's going to be like 2042 when you pay off your loan. But it's 360 months from now. And then your interest rate is 0 0.05 divided by 12. What is our R value? Again, we have our fa uh, formulas right here. Plug in what we know. There's our formula. Plug in what we know. And you get an amount of $1,073.64. And so that's what your monthly pay principal and interest would be. Now we're going to do a couple other examples in a couple of the other videos, but this was just a general idea to get you thinking about annuities and uh, give a brief introduction to what we're going to do. So check out the other videos if you have some questions on some of the problems that we've talked about in class. And again, try doing this on your calculator so that you know how to plug it in because you're going to need to know how to do that for any tests or quizzes. Thanks a lot.